I'm looking confused because I'm trying to figure out what hour this is. I think I'm a 12 to 10. This is hour 16, so if I look awful, that's why. Mix 106 kid, Cares for Kids, over $70,000, and we are celebrating tonight with the Mix 106 Velvet Rope Series out here at Varsity Pub in Meridian. Junior Doctor getting ready to take the stage tonight. These guys were fantastic. They were on the show today. We had an absolute blast with them, and now they're going to play an acoustic set. You've never seen a Velvet Rope Series, and they're so much fun because you're up close and personal with the band. You get to have pictures, autographs, and you get to uh, video with them. So it's a fantastic up close and personal, and then you get to be like, I saw them when they came to Boise to play the Varsity Club. I saw them. That's what the Velvet Rope Series is all about, and it's just for you. So sit back and enjoy. By the way, I totally made everything up about these guys going to school to be doctors, although they have played doctors before. Don't so. let, you know, when you get your pictures and autographs, don't fall for that. I already did in the studio earlier. Uh, without further ado, you hear their uh, hit song, uh, oh, on Mix 106. It is climbing up the charts. It's a huge hit. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm, voicey welcome. Here's Junior Doctor. And turn the phones off! Hello. Whoa, these lights are really bright in my face. I can't see any of you. But that's cool. It's all right. Debate. We get into a debate about what you think our songs are about. Uh, this next one. Uh, so there's, there's actually a, a, amongst our fans that have our album and know our songs, um, this one is, is typically misunderstood because it sounds like a, a romantic relationship breakup song, and, and it kind of is a breakup song, but um, uh, specifically it's about, it's kind of a friend breakup. Um, our very first guitarist who was with us, <laughs> now this song is about him, uh, he kind of left, like I said, on bad terms, and you know, we're, I guess we're okay with him now, we're not, we're, we don't like hate each other, but this song is... Uh, it's about, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave them nameless. It's about old guitarists. It's called All Right, and it goes like this. Oh, 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 all right, all right. I've been holding on to my tongue for way too long, but I let go tonight. Oh, 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 all right. I don't need this anymore. You're the one that pulls the door. I just like that. And I'm still doing all right. I'll be doing all right. Before you. years old I was a very I was a very nervous awkward 17 year old guy I wasn't cool in high school by any means and uh, I wanted so badly like to meet meet a girl and, and fall in love and have that whole love story thing play out um, but there was always cooler guys around cooler stronger guys I think was is a more accurate description like there's always like a jock around making me look like this wimpy nerdy kid who didn't know how to talk um, so I had this idea, if I was ever going to meet a girl, I had to be in a no competition uh, situation. So there was this Pier 1 Imports nearby my house. And I thought, if I go get a job at a Pier 1, there's no guys going to be there. Like, no single guys at least. Like, if a guy goes to a Pier 1, he's, he's got a girl drag him there. Like, no guy, no guy is going there like, man, I could really use some scented candles to make, to spruce up the feng shui at my home. At least I don't think so. I don't know. That was my thinking. You've never been to my house. I know, she rich as Send your candles everywhere. So, so this is my idea, right? To go get a job at Pier 1 and try to meet a girl and, and, and trick her into falling in love with me. So I walk into this Pier 1 and I, and I see this girl behind the counter. She's the prettiest girl I've ever seen in my life. And, and instantly, like, I realize, you know, even no competition, I still am not going to stand a chance with this girl. You know, like, there's, a, there's other guys in the world. What was I thinking that she would, she's stuck in this Pier 1 forever with only me? That's a great so, I finally worked up the courage to say something to her. Well, I've been married to that girl for 10 years. That's my wife. And uh, this next song, thank you. And it's cool because this is actually going to be the last song we're going to play. And then we're, we're, we'd love to hang out with you guys and kind of chill for a little bit. What do you guys to sing, okay? Every chorus. Richard, I didn't hear you sing it. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> my mom, you guys said a good mom example. makes fun of me because I play in the band that sings uh-oh. I'm 
never been good with words. Well, at least not this pretty kind. So now when she's around, it's like I just lose my mind. I know, I know, I should just leave it alone, but I won't, I won't. I keep getting in my way. And my friends say I'm crazy. A girl like that would never go for a guy like me. And I know, I know that I should listen to them, but I won't, I won't, I won't. And I, oh, oh, I get that feeling, and I don't know, don't know. I should be stealing all the air from my lungs, and leaving all the words back on my tongue. Oh, that was so good. You guys are awesome. It's like I'm not even here. Grab me over as you walk by. Dust off my clumsy words if I pick up lines. And I know, I know that I can't leave her alone. And I won't, I won't. I try to work on the nerve. Hope to God I don't stutter. My phone together letters never end up as words. Thank you guys so, so very much. That was awesome. We are junior doctors for Company Sports.